This podcast is brought to you by Cash App. With Cash App investing, you can buy fractional shares of stock with as little as $1. If that sounds daunting, don't worry. Cash App is sharing some big do's and don'ts of stock trading to get you started. Do salt your stocks. They'll keep longer. Don't take stop stock tips from children. They have less developed brains than you and I, and they don't know what they're talking about. Do get coffee with the company's mascot to see how you like their vibe before investing. Don't bake your phone into a pie to teach the stock market a lesson. Your phone doesn't know how the stock market behaves, and it's not their fault. Punishing it won't help. Do set up a folding chair on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with a big bucket of popcorn and yell, it's better than Hollywood. Don't set up your phone as a bullseye and use a bow and arrow to make trades. There's an obscure law that classifies this as insider trading, and you'll be arrested. Do yell, Ben Bernanke, bless this mess every time you make a trade. And finally, don't forget to use promo code congrats when you download Cash App from the App Store or Google Play Store today. You'll receive $10, and Cash App will send $10 to the Trevor Project. Brokerage services are provided by Cash App Investing and subsidiary, uh, a, subsidi- a subsidiary of Square and member SIPC. Crazy, 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 Hey, it's it. It, it, this is it. Congratulations. Episode 150. We told you we might have a special thing going on, and we do a bit. It's me and my brother, Matt D'Elia. Now, before we even get going, I got to plug my uh, New Year's Eve date in Chicago. There are still some tickets left. Celebrate New Year's Eve with me. And if you don't, and you live in Chicago, and you don't celebrate New Year's Eve with me, then you don't love me, or you don't love my brother, and you don't love my family. So it's all good, but that's how it is. If you live in Chicago and you don't come, you don't love me, and you don't love my brother. Yeah. Who's on the episode right now? Yep. So Chicago, New Year's Eve, crystalia.com for tickets live at Grizzly Grizzly. Um, but we've got Matt D'Elia here for the 150th episode of Congratulations, and and uh, and he's here. So hello, Matt. Hey. You said it was special when you were talking about 150, episode yeah. 150, and then you walked it back because you said a bit afterwards. Right, it's a bit special. It's a bit special. A bit special is, is I think, actually kind of nicer than saying it's special. How's how about that? how you think about that? How's that? Uh, because you know what, dude? It's like, it's it's a bit special. Like, it's not just the regular thing. It's a bit special. Right. If I say it's special, then I sound like a cock because it's just my podcast, mm. you know? I mean, it would be special. I guess it would be... Re- like really special would be like if you know i had i don't know somebody who was back from the dead so like fucking sinatra jfk sure or that that. didn't want me to do my sinatra thing but okay sure no sinatra's good yeah so uh anyway um what you know it was interesting though when we started the podcast though immediately um i told uh one fire to not start right away and then he immediately started right away right which was against what we wanted right so that's so that sucks right yeah so you agree he's one fire right i saw it happen in 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 real time in real time yeah and he he basically proved why that's his name. Right. Yeah. Okay. So uh, we got some things to talk about, and mostly we like to just come up and bullshit, though, you know, because we just hang out anyway, and we like to do that. But uh, uh, I got a new tattoo. So. Oh yeah. I'm a little cooler. You want to talk about that a little bit? I don't know. What do you think about it? Uh, I like it. I like it more than your first one. Why? Slight diss to your first one. Yeah. Uh, I just think it looks cooler. Hmm. I like the, how it goes all the way around like that. Yeah. It doesn't look cooler though. It looks the same cool. Did you know that? <laughs> I don't think I did know that. Yeah, because I don't. Because I both, don't think you have to think something. It's you about have to have that opinion right. to know it, and I don't mm. think that it's a ten. They're both tens on a, on the on the uh, on the tattoo scale. I think the second one is a ten. Yeah, I think the first one is different than a ten. Hmm. You're saying like a nine or an eight? Just different than a ten. So definitely, I mean, Sid De Niro, different than a ten. Nine <laughs> or eight? That's different than a ten. You know. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, dude, uh, I don't know, you know, you, you fucking, mm. you've been into tie-dye lately a lot. I'm way into tie-dye lately. Yeah. Wait, let me also say, also, you washed your hair recently? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. trimmed your beard? Yeah. Now, uh, yeah, 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 you yeah, did, Yeah. because it used to be really, really scraggly on the neck here. Okay, well, now you're starting to sound I'm like not. What? You had an issue with it. No, I didn't have an issue with it, but I will, I will say this. Because it was real scraggly on your neck a little bit, you like it had a problem. No, it looks, it looks a lot better like this. You look really good. Thanks. You look more handsome. So I'm a 10 now, and it was before it was something other different than, than a 10. 10. Yeah. Different than a 10. <laughs> so, yeah, um, no, I fucking love tie-dye. I got, I got like three tie-dye hoodies. You gave me a tie-dye hoodie. Yeah. 
uh, I have a tie-dye hoodie in the car just yeah. in case I want to put it on. Yeah. But I got a tie-dye t-shirt right now. Cool, cool, cool. That's too much, too much tie-dye. It's entirely too much tie-dye. So, uh, but that's very cool. I really like tie-dye. I remember when I was in high school, when I was in high school, I was thinking about how uh, I didn't want to do tie-dye and I thought I will never wear tie-dye. And then, and then I got older and, mm. and this past year I was like, I guess I got to give up because it looks really fucking bitching. And now I saw the Life Reps hoodies and they're tie-dye. Oh, yeah. And that's what's up. And that's that, the whole thing one time, J.J. Lee, when I was younger in high school, J.J. Lee was a guy in high school, and uh, he said, you become what you hate. He said that in high school? Yep. And it's so true, dude. Was and I always think about Sun that. Sun Tzu, the high school years? Yeah. He, yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, dude, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, he said, uh, you become what you hate, and I and I never ever fucking don't think about that. So that's cool that when I was in high school, fucking JJ Lee from high school from 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 Locking Out of California said told me that you become what you hate, and we were in Locking Out, and I still fucking believe that. So that's cool. You know what that makes me think of though, mm. which I hate, mm. is how kids will say shit like that yeah. just because they heard an adult say right, it. Right, I know he did. Of course he did. Yeah, and yeah. he didn't even know what it meant. Really, yeah. he was right, right, so he got lucky. Right, but he was just parroting like some shit his dad or uncle or somebody in a movie said. I know. I don't like that. No, I don't like it either. But it now it's affects it affects my life, and I fucking think of JJ Lee. I guarantee I think of JJ Lee more than he thinks of me. When you say JJ Lee, I just think of Jennifer Jason Lee. He's that's what I mean. Oh yeah, it was Jennifer Jason. Jennifer Lee? Jason Lee when I was in high school said that to me. <laughs> um, no, he was he was he, you know he was cool. He knew fucking kung fu. I think I don't know who JJ Lee is. I think you might be making him up. No, I know every JJ Lee else. was a really handsome guy. Dude, remember. remember when when we were younger, mm-hmm. you were in high school. I don't think I was even in high school yet. Mm-hmm. You would come into my room really, really, really late mm-hmm. and do impressions. Yeah. Oh yeah, of dude. Everyone on your basketball. Oh team. yeah. And I was, played basketball when I was in sophomore year. It was yeah. You played left bench. Uh, no, nope, that's uh, such a stupid fucking dad joke. <laughs> so uh, yeah, no, I did. I, I did all of them, and I did all of them very, very badly. No, they were good. No, they weren't. I mean, can I blow them up? Like, can I? Sure. Say yeah. Names? It was Robert Seastrom. Uh, D- Derek Yee. Oh wow, yeah. Derek Yee threw in my threw up in my fucking car once and didn't give me a good enough a, of apology, and I'm fucking still mad at him for it. That's we nice. went to Moose McGillicuddy's, dude. It was so fucking annoying, man. We were in Pasadena. One of my best friends, Mike Stevens. Okay, he was he was like, uh, we were. Derek got so fucking he drank like mind erasers or some shit. First of all, don't have a drink called mind erasers. That's okay, something. Yeah, and Derek Yee, dude, he was. <laughs> first of all, Derek Yee was so he was so loud. Okay, and he goes like this, and he would go like this. Oh, have you seen like he like right now? Like this is probably what he. This is what he did all the time. He'd be like, "Have you seen the Irishman?" And I'll be like, N- "No." And he said, and then he'd say, "Oh, you haven't seen it." <laughs> Oh, it makes me so mad. You don't answer the same question twice, yeah, okay? Agree. We're not on the stand. You asked me once. I said no, and I didn't see it in the amount of time, the fucking two seconds before you just asked me, right? right. So the answer is no. He would be like, dude, do you, did you see what happened yesterday at lunch? No. Oh, you didn't? And I go, no. So that guy, <laughs> that guy fucking, <laughs> that guy, that's that guy, okay? Yeah. First of all, yeah. really tall Chinese kid. Super tall for some reason. I don't know how he got so tall being a Chinese guy. And he played basketball. He was like the center. And then he would also say, Sean Kemp. Oh, he would always say, Sean Kemp is the most entertaining player in the NBA. And that that. pissed me off because I believed it. But when he said it, I got more mad that I felt the same way that he did because he was the kind of guy that asked the same question twice. Now, we, a year after high school, went to Moose McGillicuddy's or whatever the fuck it was. It was a bar in Pasadena. and Well, that was your first mistake. I know. I know, I know, I know. I went with Mike Stevens, and Derek got so fucking drunk that they had to be like, yo, man, you have to get out of the car, okay? There he is, wow. <laughs> wow. He would be like, you got to get out of the car. Also, he, he was like the kind of guy, I don't even know, he had like braces until he was like 35. I don't know how it happened, but he had it for like 20 years. So, wow, that's him, yeah. Oh, such big, he was, was yeah. Was he wearing he, fucking tie-dye in that pic? M- was he? No. no. But he would wear so fucking, he would wear like Bummer. fucking shorts that were so big, that were just basically pants. He dressed like Kevin Smith. So... <laughs> so, so he would say, so he would, so he got so drunk, they threw him out of the car, the, the bar, and then we went back to my car, and I was like, yo, Mike, he's going to throw up in the back of my car, and Derek's like, eh, eh, I'm not going to throw up in the back of your car, and I was like, no, you're going to throw up in the back of my yeah. car, and he was like, I'm going to be okay, and Mike was like, dude, it's going to be fine, trust me, I've been drunk a lot, I had never been, you know, yeah. I don't drink, yeah. so I was like, he looks like he's going to throw up in the back of my car, and he says, he's not, and Derek Gee literally 
puts his hands in, like he's crawling into the backseat of my car. And as he, it was like he went into my car to throw up. It was legitimately like he just went, I'm not going to throw up. John Kemp is the most entertaining player in the NBA. And he goes, tick, tick, tick with his hands, tick, tick, blick, and just throws up so much. And then I couldn't get in touch with him the next day, which fucking made me fucking rip roaring mad, dude. Because obviously get in touch with me if you threw up, if you fucking yacked all over the backseat of my fucking envoy, get in touch with me the next day, dude. Derek Yak. Dude. He oh did uh, you, you oh did I, did I throw up in your car? Yeah, I did. <laughs> but he didn't apologize. How's that even? Possible? No, it was. I think he was too embarrassed. But it was so annoying. He would tuck his shirts in no matter what, and I got so mad. Oh, also, dude, he would wear. Oh my god, I forgot about this, dude. He would only wear fucking t-shirts with a pocket, <laughs> and the pocket would have Bugs Bunny coming out of it with a basketball. Wow. Always, it, or or it would be like somebody dunking a basketball into his. Dude, the guy loved basketball, man. It's so fucking funny how many Asians loved fucking basketball in Lock and Yada, dude. Well, there were just a lot of Asians in Lock. Yeah, but they loved basketball, man. It was insane. They loved it. Wow, John Kemp. I remember that from your impression. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I would come in and say John Kemp is the most entertaining player in the NBA. But yeah, you keep me up. Yep. Fucking so late. And actually, I would hate These it. are the shirts, dude. These are the shirts he would wear. There. There. They're always oh, like funny little design. Like that. He would. He had that. That's the Derek e. That. Had it. Wow. That's so bad. These are the least fashionable clothing of all time. That's bad. Yeah. Wow. Anyway. So um, what, what was it about? Uh, yeah. Blair Schober was another guy. Uh, yeah. Who's the strongest man alive. <laughs> he was. He literally was. He's 5'10". He was the strongest man alive. It was unbelievable. But that was the kind of thing you would do this a lot when we were kids. You would fucking, you would do something that, like before you would do it, I would dread it. Like I hated that. Oh you would yeah, do yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. But while you were doing it, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was, it was actually funny. So yeah. I, I didn't want to like not laugh. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. It was yeah. like it was like a dreadful experience. I was like, God, yeah. get out of my room. But I was laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like you, how I watch documentaries. You do. <laughs> I don't want to watch it. And then when you turn it on, I'm like, oh shit, that guy has cancer, and I'm all in. Yeah, I don't like to watch documentaries. Oh, yeah, you Everybody don't. Everybody likes documentaries. Yeah, so it's much. weird being a filmmaker, too, which you are. You don't like watching documentaries, which is crazy because filmmakers love documentaries. But the thing about documentaries is that... I, I, I already agree with you. It de- it's so dependent on the subject right. that you can get lucky, make a shitty movie, mm-hmm. what is, besides the subject, a shitty movie, and it's a great documentary because it's about a fucking insane thing. Mm, yeah, right? right. It's not even necessarily a good documentary. It's just a good subject. Yeah. Yeah. And so I, uh, specifically, I think because I'm, I make movies and I think about them that way, I feel mm. sort of, I don't know, it, it's fucking weird. And the other way around is true. Like you can make the best documentary, yeah. but if the fucking person it's about or something crazy right. doesn't happen during the making of it. Right. Right, and you right. You want to fucking watch it. Right. Like, if I made a documentary about Ber- Derek Yee and it was before he threw up in my car, I would be unlucky. But if I got the moment he threw up in my car and made it about how he said he fucking wouldn't throw up in my car and then did throw up in my car, then it would be a great fucking smash hit documentary. I would watch like a staircase version of that, like an eight hour <laughs> fucking epic about, about that. I would have sure. to put it in parts, like seven, a- seven episodes of like, uh, you. Yeah, just like, yeah, I didn't, I wasn't going to throw up in his car, <laughs> and I knew I wasn't going to throw up in his car, and then the moment changed once I got in his car. So boring. And it's crazy, because John Kemp is still the entertaining player in the NBA. But we, we're not asking about that. This is not about basketball at all. Oh, I know, I understand. But And you can't wear that shirt because of licensing, <laughs> because it has the Tasmanian devil on the pocket. <laughs> I mean, how many did he have? Of he had all of them. He, any fucking character he had. He definitely had a Tasmanian devil one. He had a fucking uh, 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 Daffy Duck. And then he had a fucking, uh, for sure, Bugs But He had, like, pl- a plenty of Bugs Bunny ones. It was so, too, like, his mom that got him for him. Yeah. That was like, oh, fucking, this is American, you know, because right, she was right, not right. from America. Right, right, right. Oh, man, dude. Was he trying to never fuck? Is that why he wore them? Yeah, no. It, well, right. for, the only thing he was trying to do was play basketball, 100%. Like, a girl would come over to his house and be like, you want to go one-on-one? <laughs> She'd be like, well, I was saying, hoping we can get a little bit more in- intimate and be like, oh, I could just turn the lights out and we could play one-on-one. I bet no one... No guy who's ever worn a shirt like that has ever had sex. Like the day he wore it, yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one would have sex w- with you if you're wearing that shirt as a fucking adult. You know, as a Bugs Bunny thing, like coming out of the thing. Yeah, the or Tasmanian in a basketball. devil coming out of your shirt. Yeah, pocket. Uh, maybe you, definitely only. A, well, if you're a black guy, definitely you have, but not if you're a white guy. No fucking way. Yeah, a black guys can wear, black guys can wear cartoon shits and it's kind of dope. Well, what but, about yeah. what about Asian guys like Derek? Uh. I don't know. 
what kind of you'd have to think about Asian girls and be like, oh, well, what are they into? They probably do like cartoons. They probably do, right? Yeah, yeah so like maybe, cartoons, yeah. but not a white guy, dude. Forget it. If you're a white guy and you were a Tasmanian devil yeah. coming out of the pocket and a fucking t-shirt, there's no way you're getting your dick wet. Yeah, zero way, zero yeah. fucking way. There's no fucking way, dude. If, you're, no if your way. name is just like Tom or some shit, and you're like, hey, ladies, how's it going? And you have fucking yeah. legitimately Daffy Duck going like this <laughs> out of your fucking pocket, get the fuck out of here. You might as well literally have no dick. Or Elmer Fudd dunking. <laughs> Um, anyway, dude, uh, so yeah, so that's Derek E and then there was Blair Schober, but you remember the one time, dude, that you, or that I came to see you'd play ba- baseball. Oh and yeah, yeah. Who yeah. was the guy that hit the fucking foul ball? That Wait, was, were you, that was Stephen Yu. Stephen Yu, of course, Derek E, Stephen Yu. Okay, cool. Anyway, yeah. we fucking, um, there was, I was like the, the, the older kid and I came to see my brother play baseball and he hit a ball. Stephen Yu hit a ball and it was coming right at me because I was at the foul right. line, right? Yeah. Like I was like off, off in foul territory, yes. out of, off left field. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, that's him. That's him. Okay, so so he he hit the ball and I was like, oh shit! And my first thought was, well, fuck! I'm older than everybody here. I can't get hit by a base. Totally, yeah. Because you know my brother and his friends are gonna be like, oh, he's, he fucking Stephen Yu hit Chris D'Elia with the fucking yeah. baseball, and you're gonna like, you're a chump now, right? And you're you're less than. But I gotta stay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta stay fucking being cool. So yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, here it comes. And I went, I, I in my head, I remember thinking, just pick away, commit, mm. don't fucking hesitate. And yeah. I did. I picked away, but I picked the way that the ball was a hundred percent curving. It was slicing. It was absolutely play. slicing. Yeah. I, it was like a golf ball. Yeah. I couldn't even believe a baseball was slicing that much, and it. It just nicked me, and I moved, and I had to end up diving out of the way. But also, your back bent. Like, yeah, if it was you a just real, stayed there. Yeah. It wouldn't even have been I, I, close that's a, to you. That's yeah, why yeah, that yeah. was like the stupidest fucking most uncool shit. And it was absolutely s <laughs> a bitch because I fucking had to bend my body out of the way. Yeah, it 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 was like proto s a bitch. It was pre before we were. It was. It, it yeah, was. Yeah, it yeah. was. I mean, we were in high school still. You definitely were. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, maybe before. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. I don't know. Uh, but you know, I, I, uh, so Steven, you and Derek, Yee, those guys fucking vomited in my car and hit me with a baseball. Yeah. Uh, that's some locking out of shit, by the way. Are you, are you a, how's your podcast going? It's going good. Yeah. Uh, fucking a lot of good guests. Uh, it's weird. Like I love podcasts yeah. and I've, I've listened to them for a while, uh-huh. but I never really knew how much people want to listen to them. Yeah. It's fucking crazy it's been the past three years honestly when i first started podcast uh like 25 year old girls didn't even know what a podcast was for right. real and yeah. now they're like now they're like i listen to your podcast and i'm like oh you know now they now now not only do they know what it is but they listen to a fucking a bunch of podcasts it's insane yeah, it's how crazy. quickly they blew up and how much people want i know to be listening to them i know because people are fucking bored as shit and you're in your cubicle right now listening hi yeah. or you're driving in the in the fucking uh car hi kevin spacey <laughs> <laughs> Why do I know? Yeah, you're driving in your car. Hi, uh, or you're you're in your cubicle. Hello. <laughs> we said that last podcast, right? That we always had a joke about how Kevin Spacey walks in a room and says hi, no matter who's uh, there. Yeah, I don't know if that was with well, me though. I want to know. Oh, really? I think well, you just talked. Uh, you're about the only it person. Me. That, okay. Without yeah. Me. Okay. You abandoned so, me. So, it so here's the deal, though. Uh, why do you ever do a podcast and then you think, why the fuck this one isn't that good? Um. Yes, I have. You have, okay. Yeah, yeah. But they're they're all good. And mine, that's how I feel every single time. All that, good. That they're not good? Yeah, all good. I listened to your last podcast, yeah. actually, when I was coming up here. Mm-hmm. You, so hated it. You've lost your fucking mind. No, that one was one of the best episodes. The the beginning, like the first 10 minutes, mm-hmm. you you just lost your yeah. fucking mind. That's, those are the best episodes when I come in and I'm feeling good and I know I feel like a tall drink of water and shit like that and I'm going to be like, oh, I'm in a good... I'm in a, Like today, I didn't get much fucking sleep. This morning, I didn't get much fucking sleep so I feel like I'm not. I'm a little bit off. But it feels good because we're talking about Derek Yee and shit. See, that's the other thing, dude. I don't give a fuck about... I want to, when I'm talk when I, when I listen to a podcast, if I listen to a podcast, if I listen to somebody talk, I want to know really, I want to, you know, okay, here's the, be- here's what it is for real. Yeah. Okay, okay. If you're making a movie and the movie is all explainy and shit, mm-hmm. I don't like it 
That's why John Cassavetes is one of my favorite directors, okay? Like exposition, you don't want that? Dude, you don't know what the fuck anyone's saying. Yeah. You don't know what they mean. You don't know what they're referring to. Yeah. But it's their world, and the director captured it. I agree. Okay. So in a podcast, I'm talking about Derek Yee. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck you never met Derek Yee. Yeah. Okay? This is, wh- this is my world. I think it's funny that he's got the fucking Bugs Bunny shit coming out of the pocket. Uh-huh. Okay? And I'm going to talk about it, and if you don't give a shit, then tune out. But here's the other thing, too. When you're talking about some shit that's very specific to you, and you fucking are, are uh, uh, and it's all your world, and I don't necessarily know about it, that's the most interesting shit to me. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Like I the end it. of Vanilla Sky. Oh, my God. Okay. When yeah. the guy's in the elevator, and he's like, here's what happened all movie. Oh, right. Yeah, Go fuck yeah, yourself, yeah, dude. Yeah. Don't have that scene. Yeah. The whole movie was rip roaring awesome. It was fucking rip roaring awesome. Oh, my God. And then, and then, and then the elevator, he's like, this is what happened. I'm out, dude. Yeah. I'm out. I don't want anything explained. Don't tell me what's going on. Do what you're doing, and I'll be. That's like, you got to treat me like a fucking hot chick, man. Treat me like a hot chick. Dude, if you want to have sex with a chick, then you just got to pretend like you don't give a shit about her. If you're like, oh, but sweetheart, this is what I'm like. This is what I'm like, sweetheart. <laughs> this is what I'm like. Right. Then the girl's like, um, check, please. Right, yeah. And you're not even at a restaurant, my baby. You know what's weird? I think that that is done because people are constantly like, are they going to get it? Are they going to get it? Yeah. And it, I, I feel like everyone says, like, this is just true i feel like people don't want the explanation scene but it's done for people who are expected to want the explanation shit yeah it yeah they, i mean i don't even want to know what happened like before the movie started bro remember what i told you about jj lee said that fucking uh you become what you hate and that's something that resonated me resonated with me yes dude i was watching men in black and another thing res- resonated with me that tommy lee jones said and i never don't think about it so wait hold on just before jj lee it. and tommy lee jones but tommy- you have to have a lee in your name Okay, but Tommy Lee Jones, something that Tommy Lee Jones said says in, to Will in, Smith in, in, on Men a bench, in, Black, in Men in Black stuck with you. Yes. Okay, you're 12. Well, I was 12 when I fucking saw it. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant you saw it recently. Nope. You're saying it stuck with you for this many years? Oh, 100%. All right, you got problems. But what is it? This is what he said. He said, Will, Will Smith is like, I don't know, man, people are smart. And he said, and Tommy Lee Jones says, no, a person is smart. People are stupid. And that's kind of what it is. And when that happened, I turned into the fucking Weebay meme. I went, oh, uh. he's from The Wire. <laughs> but that's what I fucking thought of. Yeah, I mean. And I was like, oh, that's true. And so people oh, don't, a person doesn't want the explanation, but people want the explanation. But when I'm in a room with people and we get the explanation, I go like this. Oh, for fuck's sake. But everyone else is the Weebay meme. Oh, he's from The Wire. Wow. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah. I don't want the explanation. I don't want the explanation at all. But that is actually a pretty wise thing that Tommy Lee Jones said in Men in Black. I know. It was probably written, but that would be crazy if it was an ad-lib. That's not a documentary? (laughs) (laughs) If it was an ad-lib? And you ad-libbed, people are smart. uh, A person is smart, but people are stupid. And then the director was the wee baby. He was like, oh, we got to leave it in. Did you see the new Men in Black with fucking the two people? No, I tell you what, though. I saw the poster and it made me real mad. Oh, got it. Well, Why? I don't know. Well, I don't know, dude. It just was like... It, it, sometimes I'll see a, a poster or see yeah. a trailer or hear about a movie, and it's just... For some reason, it's like... It's like the movie... It feels like the movie version of like a fucking Happy Meal. Like, it's not a real oh, movie. Oh, very interesting. It's not a real movie. Mm. It's just like some shit put together for you to like yes, go, yes. go get. Like, here's something. the toy in it, too. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I'm not into it. Oh, man, Neil Brennan and I would always text each other fake movies that were coming out, even though they were real movies coming out. Like, there's one called, like, Drunk Parents with, like, Alec Baldwin. Okay. And it's just, here, let me just, Drunk Parents, Alec. That's something? Yeah, it's a real movie, dude. We didn't, yeah, with Selma that, Hayek and Alec Baldwin. That sounds like the most depressing movie. Let's watch this trailer after we take a break. We're going to take a break a little bit, okay? And then we'll watch this trailer. So we're taking a break, and we'll be right back. Uh, me undies. By this time of year, the planners and Virgos of the world have checked off everything on their list, while the rest of us last-minute people are running around like psychos trying to figure out what to get everyone. Well, don't fear. Fellow last-minute gifters, me undies has everyone on your list covered. I uh, get it. Double entendre covered. Uh, it's the one-stop shopping spot that gets gifts that 
people will actually love delivered straight to your door, free shipping, no buts about it. Get it? Actually, all buts about it because, yeah, you get it. So um, I like them because they're more comfortable than any other underwear I've ever owned. And I'm 39 and I've put on lots of underwears on my life. And uh, they've got the patterns I like. They also got regular colors, which is the ones that I wear all the time. And um, this holiday season cozy up in their new robes for men and women. Treat your feet. Uh, in their soft new slippers, and of course, match the whole match uh, the whole fam with their cute new baby bodysuit. Uh, it's cold out; it's dark out at like four p.m. And Miyundis wants you to know that it's okay not to leave the house as much this winter in sizes extra small to four XL. Uh, Miyundis has a great offer for my listeners. For uh, for any first time purchasers, you get fifteen percent off and free shipping. This is a no brainer, especially because we have a one hundred percent satisfaction guarantee. To get your fifteen percent off your first fa- first pair, free shipping, and a hundred percent satisfaction guarantee, go to meundies dot com slash congrats. That's meundies dot com slash congrats. Quip. The holiday shopping season is here, and this year your gift can start next year's good habit with Quip. Quip is something that's sure to put a smile in everyone's mouth uh, because it's dental care they'll actually want to use every day. That's why Quip is the perfect, thoughtful, and practical gift with an electric toothbrush, refillable floss, and toothpaste, all intentionally designed to make good habits simple. Look, you can give this gift this year, and it's great because it's cool, but also it's good for someone. So if you don't know what to get them, you know, you can have them practice good habits. Uh, Join over 3 million happy customers and check everyone off your gift list right now with quip it delivers brush heads floss and toothpaste refills every three months just go to getquip.com slash congrats to save on gift sets and to get your first refill free with a refill plan that's your first refill free at getquip.com slash congrats getquip.com slash congrats Hey guys, we're back. What's going on? And if you uh, if you uh, listen to the commercials, thanks so much, man, because you're helping me fucking back it up. You know what I mean? No dunce. Anyway, uh, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> no dunce, dude. No fucking dunce. Right? Insecure. So um, <laughs> this is a fucking trailer of a real movie called Drunk Parents. Now I have not seen this trailer. I just know it's a movie. Why? Because I travel on an airplane a lot of the time, and every now and then you'll look at the fucking shit. When you travel on an airplane and you see the fucking movies that are, mm-hmm. sometimes you're like, oh, did they make these movies sincerely just for American Airlines? Right, right, right. That's yeah. what this shit is like. This movie's called Drunk Parents. It's with Alec Baldwin and Selma Hayek. Now, what? all I can say is, of course it's with them in it. <laughs> no, I like Alec Baldwin. I'm, I'm I, you know, I don't want to say he's my buddy, but I've done his fucking show a few times. You know, I run into him. He's a good guy. But this movie seems hilarious. I haven't looked at it yet. Okay. I'm looking at it for the first time. So I don't know if we're going to have fucking, you know. Uh, Look at our college girl. We're just a phone call away. I love you guys so much. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Can I help you? I'm just doing my job. I just need a little more time. What's wrong with you? Find a way to put some loot in my suit. Sell some crap. Rob and Jack. That's what's his name. Uh, this is so boring so far. <laughs> I can't even believe that this is something to sell something. What Kid the Cuddy. fuck is this? That's Kid Cuddy. Isn't it Kid Cootie? I Kid Cutie? I, I don't know. That's my nickname. Sell some crap. Robin Jack. Why does the sound what? sound so bad? It's because it was, you know, how, I mean, if this play, if this was made anywhere but Vancouver, I'll fucking straight up rip, rip one of my balls off. I'll, oh, wow. I'll tell you why it sounds so bad. Okay. Nobody Gives a fuck. Oh, yeah. Nobody that made that movie gives a fuck about anything. Sa- sound guy goes like this. They go like this. Do we get it? Sound guy goes like this. <laughs> yeah, we got it. Let's go. Totally, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got it. We are both got it. That's what he said because he's from Vancouver. Yeah, break. Does Alec Baldwin ever not wear that coat in the in a movie, by the way? No. It's always a fucking gray double-breasted sure. with fucking gloves. I swear to God, it could be August in New Orleans. He's still wearing it. Definitely. Finally, a break. Hello, he owes you money. I'm his butler, not his accountant. I was Master Kerr. What the fuck is this? <laughs> what the fuck is this? What did he say? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. How is this the beginning of a trailer? Okay, okay, okay. So so far, what happened? Let's break down what happened. So, of course, sweeping shot, so Vancouver, okay? Yeah. Wow. Look at our college girl. So she's, okay. going to college. so she's going to college. They're together, and they're leaving her to college, and he's wearing the coat. Okay. He's wearing a coat in every fucking scene. He's wearing the coat, and she's always dressed for a funeral for some reason. Right. Okay? So, 
phone call away. I love you guys so much. And and the college kid, the interesting about the college kid is she's 34. Right. So that's all good. Yeah. So let's do this. <sighs> Thank you for everything. That was, by the way, no humor or None. anything really in that just None. just exposition in a trailer which is crazy without that terrible music you would actually have no idea it was supposed okay. to be a comedy okay can i help you i'm just doing my job i just need a little more time why were you find a way to put some loot in my suit sell some crap round and back finally a break okay so his car gets towed why i don't know he what? says i need a little bit more time right but we don't know what that means for the car we don't know what that means for the movie at all. Yeah. And you definitely don't know what it means in relation to college or daughter leaving. A hundred percent. Okay. So, so, okay. So here we go. Hello. He owes you money. Okay. I- now he's talking on a phone. Well, let's just go. With an accent? My daughter's accountant. I was master he, so, Yeah. He was talking in, an, an, in a phone on an act, with an accent. Yeah. And his wife was watching him. And she's still dressed for a funeral. And how much did the director? By the way. He still has the jacket on. How much did the director beg him not to do the accent? <laughs> and he said, okay, and then did it like that every single time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I won't do it. Oh, you want me to do And as a matter of fact, the director, at the end, <laughs> he did fucking nine takes, and the director was like, oh. yeah. and he was like, uh, he was like, did we get it? And then the director was like, sure, because you know he's, he's like, okay, he's not going to do it. I told him not to do the accent. And then I always says, oh, wait, well, let's do one more, because you said you wanted one without the accent. And the director said, yeah. And they said, and action, and he still did the accent. Yep. Okay, and so. walked. Directly to his trailer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so, and then what does he say here? Master Kirk. That was Mr. Kirk? That was, <laughs> that was Master Kirk. <laughs> Master Card. Master oh, Card. that was Master Card. Mr. Kirk. Okay. <laughs> Ms. Butler, not his accountant. That was Master Kirk. They're losing money. Okay, going broke. They're going broke. They it's because it says they're going broke. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to Nigel's for a minute. Nigel's? Okay, now Nigel is for sure British. Come on. Yeah. Now he's going into a wine cellar. Worth $800. You're supposed to be looking after his property. Oh, what's next? Rent it out. <sighs> Rent out his house? Rent out Nigel's house? That's insane. There was a rental ad for this wow. house on Craigslist. That's uh, Gaffigan. That's Jim Gaffigan. Advance. I think he was sent from God. As a new neighbor, I'm legally required to tell you that I'm a registered sex offender. That's funny. I actually think that's funny. I think Gaffigan's funny. Uh, yes. Very weird so, to go in weird, this trailer. Very weird to go in this trailer. Uh, a sex Absolutely weird. Joke? Absolutely weird. The most benign trailer yeah. so far. Yeah. And now all of a sudden, he, this guy's like, I'm a sex offender. A new guy. <laughs> the only. Okay. Okay. So. And I'm not. I love Gaff again. He's funny. This is my favorite part of the trailer, I will say. Yeah. Okay. That I'm a registered sex offender. Come again? Wow. Really? <laughs> Pretty funny, actually. Okay. It, as jokes go, he says, come again. Right, right, right. Okay, that yeah. was funny. Funny delivery, Alec Baldwin. Yeah. Okay. Alec Baldwin's fucking funny. He's funny, yeah. Um. Okay. Excuse me. Have we got a report of suspicious activity? <laughs> Nigel, how's it going over there in London, huh? I just had a conversation with the police. We're going to jail. We got to get out of here. Just take what you need for the next few weeks. Okay, so I don't know. I'm lost. So, so he's they're renting the house out or no? They're they're are they renting the house out? It's Nigel's house. Yeah, and Nigel is, is away. Is getting pissed because he's away and he heard the cops. Cops called him because something happened at his house. Yes, and they're renting out Nigel's house. Yes. So far, it has nothing to do with drinking yeah, or, it's or not parenting. Drunk parents, no. Yeah. Or parenting. Yeah, the kid that was away at college still. The movie should be called Nigel's House. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, actually, I, the, the, probably the main problem I have with that is it shouldn't be called Drunk Parents. I don't like titles like that. Okay. Why? Because it's, like it's just plain, a blanket. Like bad teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah like gotcha. That kind of thing. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, cool. So, a few weeks. Dad, Uncle Frank, and Aunt Nancy are here. You two are welcome to bunk in the twins' room. Joe Mangi or whatever the fuck the hot guy, the hot guy's in it. The hot guy, yeah. The workout guy. The ho- yeah, he's Dude, the hottest guy. What is up with this? I get mistaken for him all the time. What's yeah, up with what? Do you? Yeah. What's the deal with this movie? I don't. Do, I mean, I have was it no supposed? It was definitely supposed to come out in the theaters. Yeah, Alec yeah, yeah. Baldwin, Selma Hayek, yeah. Joe M- Mangiliano. Fucking um and Jenny Yellow, I think. Um fucking uh I mean Kid Cuddy. 
has a cameo. I'm sure he's the cameo guy. And then the other guy, Jim Gaffigan. Gaffigan's in it too, yeah. These are yes. big, it big looks, acts. It doesn't look cheap either. It doesn't? It, uh, not you don't me. think so? I mean, it, it can't really be that cheap with those people in it, first right, of all. Right, true. Uh, hilarious. My Frank and I can overcome anything as long as we are together. Let's do this every month. Your mother... She seems a little unhinged. Four dollars for a zucchini. Keep it close. Those guys have booked those guys right there. I'm telling you right now, I don't know this. Never seen them before. I'm telling you, they've booked over 110 commercials. <laughs> I mean, look at those two guys. Those guys have done so many commercials yeah. where they go like this. Um, yeah, they make, yeah, they make the face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you talked about the face? No. You should talk about I the face. I will talk about the face it. after this. That's fine. Alec Baldwin. Why is this happening? The song? You come at my house! Stop the truck, Wayne. Suck at this prime stuff. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. Oh, you my pitch to call it. Oh, you probably caught and call it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> what? Frank, how are you? I'm on the right side of the grass, my man. What's the haps? Right. Wow. All what right. is it called? Dr- dr- what? They're not even drinking in it. What's the haps? That made me mad when he said it. I don't like that at all. I, you don't like Uh-oh. that? Why not? Butters is an incel. Why don't you like that? I'm just not into like ending the trailer on what's oh, the Oh, ending haps it on that is bad, yeah. It's not good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> also, yeah. they're not drinking once in that trailer. no not even a little bit so that's a weird thing they might as well call it fucking avatar six or some shit yeah. it's not that either it would yeah. um so anyway uh the face yeah you haven't talked about that? no i haven't actually it's um every every uh movie poster has this face on it every comedy has this face on it yeah like this right it's and 99 percent of the time it's a guy yeah, it's also girls. It now, is now it's equal. You know what I mean? Now this 2019 girls oh, well, do it too. Now you're making me sound sexist. That's you're not sexist what I meant. With them when it comes with the face. But every comedy, look up anyone. Look up any comedy poster. Look up anyone with Tim Allen. Especially sitcoms, TV yeah, comedies, yeah. the most most. Yeah, like, yeah, look yeah, at this yeah. situation I'm in right now. How I got yeah. myself into hijinks. Right, right, right. Catch you later. They all doing it. They're, oh, they're all, all doing they're a version of it. All those guys are doing the, it. that awkward moment. Knocked up. Look at the knocked up one. That's I mean he's. Tip stand up, scroll up. There, right, there you go. That's the face to a T. You almost got so mad just now. Right there, scrolling. yeah, because he wasn't scrolling up, and I want him to scroll up to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the most. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what it is. It's you know what it is because uh, I've done sitcoms and shit. It's hard to not do the face. And if you do it once, they got it. That's the one they're going to use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I look at. Oh, look at you. Go to go to the, go, to the, go 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 back to the one you just oh, said with the Justin Timberlake I'm getting pissed, getting pissed I'm again. getting pissed go back to Justin Timberlake one you just had oh, it wow. just go back there just go is. back and I'm pissed friends with benefits dude wow. fucking Justin Timberlake right, right right yeah now the thing is Justin Timberlake is just making the face because he's a singer and he's like oh this is the face that actors do yeah what but that's the thing though people uh, people uh, they'll like when you're shooting the shit for the stuff because they did it for the sitcom and they were like hey you know, what's up? What's up? Now, what, how'd you get yourself in this position? Like, they'll do that. And you'll be like, I don't know. And then right. and you're like, oh, fuck. And then you're fucked. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, go see Drunk Parents. All you have to do I is mean, take a flight somewhere. You can't. <laughs> yeah. There's nowhere to see it. Yeah. Uh, that reminds me of that fucking movie I did, uh, Fate Totally Worse Than Death, though. That's why I say it's in Vancouver. Oh, wow. I did a movie like the other day. Wasn't Aaron in that? Yes. Aaron Paul was in it. That's how we became friends. Anyway, that's what that's what it is. Well, should we take another break? Let's take another break, okay? And then we'll be right back. Goat. Yeezys, Jordans, Off-Whites. You're going... Look, if you're going to buy sneakers for a few hundred dollars, how can you be sure they're the real thing? You want them to be the real thing, trust me. If you're walking around with fake Yeezys on and people see it, then it's very embarrassing, okay? Goat.com is the safest way to buy and sell authentic sneakers online. They're the largest marketplace in the world for authentic Yeezys, Jordans, and over 600,000 sneaker listing, listings. The, They've made the whole process frictionless and trustworthy. And they do this by only accepting sellers with the best reputation and by verifying all sneakers to ensure their authenticity for buyers. <coughs> Every detail is inspected from the stitching to the color to the size and weight. They certify every pair of sneakers on their site 
matches exact factory specifications. I use it all the time. I've bought a bunch of stuff from Goat. It works. It's awesome. Uh, verified 100% of the time. Uh, find the perfect 100% authentic sneakers at goat.com slash congrats. That's goat.com slash congrats. Plus, you'll also be supporting our show, but you've got to go right now before the sneakers you want are gone. Trust me. When you go to goat.com slash congrats, that's spelled G-O-A-T dot com slash congrats. Congratulations is brought to you by Cash App, the official app of the Log Cabin. What? Hi, we're back. Um, so, yeah, so uh, I don't know. Dude, you know what we should watch that I never fucking watched on this podcast? And I don't know how I never fucking watched on this podcast uh, is fucking are these things. And I can't believe we I never fucking watched it. And I thought it would be a good thing to watch with you. Um I can't believe I never watched these, but the To Catch a Predators. Oh my god, these guys! The, well, the way they try to lie is the best shit. I was watching one, the pizza. The guy had a pizza. He brought a pizza. Oh, this is the. This was the. This one, dude. He brought a fucking pizza. It's Saturday night in the Connecticut. First of summer. all, dude, mm-hmm. how many syllables does the word "it" have? It's Saturday. <laughs> it. It. It's it's Saturday night. Right in the Connecticut suburbs. Autumn is in the air. I mean, the way... And this guy the graphics? is bringing pizza to the door. Ah, uh, so, so far what nothing. Is the- this guy is bringing pizza to the door. And it looks like Robocop is looking at them. Look at this. Oh, wow. The text. But I don't understand that these guys text these things to who they think is a 13-year-old. You know I could be put in jail if the police found out we were intimate... Sincriminate. That is that is the worst thing to text someone. Yeah, because that that means that okay, so you know, you know, yeah, you you're, can't. What you're doing is really bad. Yeah, dude, this guy is essa insecure when he gets caught, dude. It's unbelievable. So, dude, he fucking is there, and he thinks she's 13 years old. She's laying it on thick, dude. 13. Yeah, and she's laying it on thick, dude. She's like 20 something, or you know, and she's like, my, my killing right, it, right, right, right. doing acting. In the meantime, if I was in this situation, which I'd never be, I would never be in this situation. I would be like, she's laying it on too thick. That's a girl who's been to acting class. She's 22. But this guy is hoping so much that it's for real. Okay, like a perv. Right. What's that? I have no idea. Do you want me to check? Somebody here. Is no. somebody here? Somebody is so nervous. Oh uh, wow. Here. There we go. No expectations whatsoever. No. Uh, oh, uh, so uh, look at the way he says. No, with her. But look, look what she comes in. Look when he comes in. You're Jeff, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, like, like he's the dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Hanging out. Hanging out with whom? With her. Who's her? Uh, I, I want to know who you are. Uh, try to flip it on a flip. Try, try, try to go back the way he takes the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. So fucking nervous to grab water like that. <laughs> what are you doing here tonight, Jeff? Hanging out. Hanging, Hanging out? out with who? The way he grabs the water, yeah. Because he has to do something. Sure. Uh, I, I, I want to <laughs> you know. know a little bit more about you first. Can I eat first? Sure. Go ahead. Ah! Ah! Could I eat? Can I eat first? And then he goes, sure. He's so relaxed and convinced of his innocence, he eats a slice of pizza. Tell me who you are, because, you know, I... Uh, just uh, relaxing. You know who he is. Fumbling so hard with the pizza, dude. It's so weird that this guy chose to eat pizza in this that moment. That is the weirdest, weirdest fucking thing. Yeah. Also, for any of these motherfuckers to act like they don't know who Chris Hansen is? I, I, yeah, I don't know. Maybe this was... No, this wasn't a while ago. I don't know. I don't get it. Boston man drives two and a half hours to Connecticut to bring pizza to a 13-year-old girl and meets Chris Hansen instead. Sub basics to right to the point. <laughs> Didn't know there would be other people here. Uh, 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 no wow. shit, man. Well, what did you expect to happen this time, Jeff? Didn't have any expectations. No expectations. Oh, well, you fucking definitely expected to eat some pizza, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Expectations whatsoever. No. No. So you drove two and a half hours? Sure did. From Boston. I like how he owns certain parts of it, you know? It's very Sure weird. did. Not a crime against driving two and a half hours, is there? Right. Who are you? To come? Ah. 
Dude, taking the pizza, the cheese is connected from the end to the pizza, can't get it off, and just relaxes into it and says, who are you? Is the most ball in the... Like, I actually think he could maybe get away with it with that. If he was just that... I mean, he's <laughs> just like, listen, guy, let's cut to the chase. Who are you? <laughs> Eating pizza, dude. While well, he gets caught being a pedophile. I know. Well, what else is he going to do at this point? He's fucked. Yeah. You have to just eat the, at least enjoy the pizza, I guess. Last meal, yeah. Are you a dad? To meet a young girl. Are you, are you a dad? I will get to that in a minute. Look at, look at. Uh-huh. Go ahead, have a bite. Sokol probably should have brought napkins. Uh, what a fucking demon, dude. Yeah, eating pizza. Gets caught a being a pedophile more. and is like just munching on pizza like that, yeah. too. Yeah. Eating it like a fucking slob. To- Somebody? What's wrong? What, what, is that against Coming the law? to meet a young girl? Yeah, is that against the law? Yeah. It is after this chat. How? Did you bring some kind of a contract with you? Some sort of marriage contract? He had a marriage contract with him. <laughs> That he wanted her to sign. Let's look at, look at, look at, laughing at him. familiar while you enjoy your pizza. Slammed him. I should come see you on <laughs> Saturday. Well, since your mom isn't home, it's the best time to do it. Eh? I would, but only if you want me to. Eh? I mean... Eating the pizza. You can't say, it's making me hungry. I can't go to jail. My life would be ruined. Right. Um, right, 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 right. That's, that sounds like me. <laughs> that sounds like me. <laughs> Right, right. I said, this, okay, uh, you do agree with that. Can't go to jail. Life will be ruined. <laughs> wow, that was a good one. Okay, let's see if we can hear it. My life would be ruined. Right. Could be locked up for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Could be locked up for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. Chewing. Oh, wow. I can see why, you know, a girl would like this guy. He, just his confidence. You say, do you trim your blank? Okay. Oh, he loves that. Uh, oh, oh, yeah. He yeah. loves that. Okay, sounds like me too, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, okay, you're going to bring that up? Okay, great. You're going to bring that up. Now, you know that this girl is 13, right? Wasn't sure. She's told. Uh, oh, wow. Wasn't sure. So he says he wasn't sure. How old are you? You might as well just tell me because I can find out like that. Who are you? Can you tell me who you are first? I will tell you that in a minute. Because, you know, now you're you're making me nervous. And oh, now? Oh, yeah? Right? You're making me want to stop eating my pizza. <laughs> kind of losing my appetite, honestly. <laughs> He's as a how many fucking old... pieces Dude, of pizza he is he eating? housing that pizza. Yeah. <laughs> Two and a half hour drive. fucking housing that pizza. What? I mean, housing. Yeah. You know? dude, fucking housing, dude. He is fucking, it's like, run, 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 like a tree trimmer. Or like yeah, a fucking, I what do they call them? Tree, what do you call Log? Fucking cutter. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking to 13-year-old girls like this. Yet I want to. What am I supposed to make of that? Dude, he Sorry, knows. I am He's paranoid. fucked. For meeting me? No, potentially having sex. Oh. Okay, so. I mean, Stin, first of all, I, what I don't understand is these guys, when this guy shows up, how do you not oh leave? Matt broke the set. <laughs> How do you not leave immediately? Back. Just leave when that happens immediately. Wow. Right? I'm gonna give her, uh, yes. I don't know, dude. I don't. I don't. I don't well, he's he's so he is so fucking scared. Yeah. Well, of course he is. Well, obviously, but that's that explains every weird, fucked up, stupid thing he's doing. Like his brain is clearly not working. He knows it's Chris Hansen. Right. He knows how fucked he is. He knows he's never going to eat a pizza again in his fucking life. All right. Or that's all he's going to be eating. Or that's all he's going to be eating. <laughs> and now I can't stop fucking thinking about how my fucking voice is sounding like that. Or that's all he's going to be eating from now on in fucking jail. You know she's 13, don't you? I, I have it right here. Well, you might as well tell me. Who are you? I will get to that. <laughs> I'll let you know when... Why won't Chris Hansen tell him who he is? Because he he knows once he tells him that that who he is and who he's with that the guy's going to leave, and he wants to get good television. So it's just entertainment value shit. Yes, but also Chris Hansen didn't he have some shit come out about him? Wow. Yeah, you didn't know about he this. He did. Yeah, Chris Hansen. Uh, what would I call it? Uh, what would I type in? 
bounced a bunch of checks? Really? Oh, I thought you meant like... No, 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 he did. He had some like, some other stuff. Uh, what? 26... Oh. No, he fucked it up and they went free? Yeah, but also, I thought he had his own things where he was like trying to confront women girls? or something. Not, not not young girls, but uh, no, maybe I just made that up. I, I probably just made it up. I don't want to say that. that now, doesn't... this is a story. Oh. And I will never, ever watch a YouTube video that begins like that, so I never mind. I hate when a video says it's a thing. Yeah, and, and it's not the thing, some, dude. There's some yeah. fuck just yep. introducing it. Yep. Get you yeah. out of there. Yeah. Get your view count up. Why are you in the video of Chris Hansen bouncing? It'll checks? be like new Eminem song, and you'll be like, yeah, click, yeah, yeah. and be like, what's up? You know, Eminem came out with a new song. And yeah. I'm like, that's fucked up to do yeah. that by my buddy, you know, because we're friends now, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. Eminem, yeah. Yeah. So, anyway. Uh, well, okay. Uh, that, what is all, what do you think? Uh, There's another thing I wanted to ask you about. Okay. Since we've got you. And since you're huge in the art world. Yeah. What do you think about the banana with the duct tape? There was a banana with a duct tape that sold sold for a, what? You, you don't even know how much? One hundred twenty thousand uh, dollars. And at Art Basel, right? Basel? Basel. What do you call yeah, it? Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know that. Oh, okay. And uh, banana, banana duct tape to wall sells for one hundred twenty thousand dollars. My first question, because I actually don't know the answer. Mm-hmm. It's not like mounted. You, you, what no. Do you, what do you get? What do you take home? The artist comes and puts it on your wall, and you exchange the banana as as you feel needed. Like you replace the banana. You replace it, and when it when it gets brown, you you can replace it as much as you want. <sighs> I mean, or the artist comes along and, and replaces it. Which either way what? is is it's either way is stupid. Okay, hold on. Um, why didn't that guy uh-huh. who wanted it right just do it? I can make my own. Yes. Yeah. Uh, because he's fucking a, because he's a cuda. Yeah, that's the most cuda shit. Yeah. So a performance artist on Saturday afternoon. Uh, uh, Do you you know what happened to it? By the way, no idea. You didn't read what ha- you didn't hear about what happened. Headline got mad. Didn't click. Oh, okay. So somebody bought it, and then some asshole. Do you know about this? You guys came into the fucking exhibit, took it off the wall, and ate it. Good. Well, yeah, that guy's good. But. How funny is it that he'll get arrested for that? They can't just use another fucking banana? Already doing that. What's happening? Using another banana? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, right. It would have been brown by the time I put it up in the house. It's better if somebody eats it. It's called The Comedian, which it shouldn't be. It should be called Banana Duct Tape Against Wall. That's the worst part. It's called The Comedian? Yeah. <laughs> Good to know. Wow. The art was the artist said, money, you know? The art was not compromised any way by the guy eating it. Well, K. Well, he was just getting so fucking nervous that he wasn't gonna get the 120 grand. Right, right, right. Oh, oh, he did. Uh well, you know what? <laughs> uh it actually it doesn't compromise the art, so you can still own the art. And I will get another banana. How's that? And this is like a fucking Chris Farley movie. It doesn't that you'd be like, they wouldn't even make this movie now. This is unbelievable, dude. Have you seen that movie, The Square? Ruben yeah. The Austin movie? Yeah. About, like, art? Yes. The ridiculousness of the art Yes. World? I saw it, some of it. It. This is, like, too ridiculous right. for that. Right, I mean, that movie's fucking great. Right. You like uh, that movie? Yeah, I love that yeah, movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That director's fucking I amazing. I saw a lot of it. I think maybe not all of it, but I don't know. Oh, okay. Well, that's bad. You know how I do it, though. Why do you do that? Because I get tired. How, t- how do you like a thing and yeah. not finish it? How's that work? I get tired. But then... I'll tell you how. Hey, this how. But then you wake up and yes. there's still more time in your life to and it's finish ne- it. But then it's fucking 10 a.m. the next day and I got to get coffee, dude. You know how I do it. Uh, but you're answering the question as if I'm asking you why you don't do it immediately. Right. Why don't you eventually finish the movie if you like And I'll it. tell you why. The mood passes, my babies. Now, the next question is why do you have the taste in movies of a 12-year-old? No, I don't. I watched The Square. You like The Square. You we watched it. You finish The Square. And I told you why. I fell asleep. And then the mood passed, my baby. What is that? It's my new thing that I'm doing, you do dude. do that? Well, no, but I, I fucking started. felt it right now. It, lo- it was cool. I couldn't... The angle's bad. So wait, if you could do it again, I'll watch it on the... Dude. 
The mood passed, my baby. Yeah. I'll tell you what, dude. I saw last night. Fucking Angel has fallen with fucking Morgan Freebree and Gerard. Morgan <laughs> Mor- Freebree. Morgan Free Free and Gerard Butt Butt. Out of fucking dude, stroke. That fucking shit. Morgan Free Free and Gerard Butt Butt. And that fucking movie. It was not that good, to be honest. Oh but yeah. I'll tell you. What. <laughs> no fucking way. But I swear to God, dude, I would be in that movie in a fucking heartbeat, dude. Yeah. I you, would be in that would. movie in a fucking heartbeat, dude. I do like to watch movies like that, I'll be honest. Morgan I mean, I Free Free and Gerard Butt Butt killed it, dude. And I call them that because that's the mood I'm in, my baby. Wow. Yep. Gerard Butt Butt is so good at that, that he shit. He really is, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah. F- He rips, dude. And he is just like, look, you're going to stay there? No, he, he goes to Morgan Free Free. He's like, look, here's what you're going to do. You're going to follow me. Men will fall, but you won't be one of them. And you're watching it and you're like, Gerard Butt Butt, dude. That's just the kind of move, mood you're in, my baby. Wow. Yeah. You did do that. So wait, is Morgan Free Free the president? A fucking course. Uh-huh. How many times has Morgan Free Free played the president? So many. He was in Deep Impact. Nine right? times. Even in movies where there is no president, where it's like about aliens, he's like, I'm the president. Right. I'm the president of you aliens. Morgan Free Free has been the president at least seven times. Dude. He was in Deep Impact. Yep. He it's w- interesting how I'm looking, and then every time I move my head, you move your head yeah. the same way I moved it, yep. blocking my view every right. single time. It's making me real mad. Yep. Look at this. Look, Look at all the people. <laughs> <laughs> Look at what they ask. What movie did Morgan Freeman play? How many times has Morgan Freeman played God? Who's played the uh, president the most? It's got to be him. I mean, no, it's, it's some old oh, Sidney Blackmer. Oh, Sidney Blackmer played Theodore Roosevelt in six different films from 19. 19- well, that's fucking weird. Okay, you know? I know who Sidney Blackmer is. Do you know who that is? No, of course not. Cool. And that's it. That's as far as we go with that. Um, but yeah, so anyway, uh, we watched that movie and it was so fucking, uh, you know, it was so that movie. My, my shit is like, it's so, f- like, we're, okay, the fir- by the way, the first two I thought were legitimately a fucking, they were really cool action movies. This one was- Olympus and London. Yeah. This one was okay. I like those movies. Me too. They're, yeah. they're bad, mm. but I like them. Why do you say they're bad? One time, Brian uh, Herzlinger, uh-huh. he's a director and he's a friend of ours, and he said that uh, the one with Ben Affleck and Morgan Free Free, Ben Affleck, oh, uh, and the sum of Morgan. all fears. Yes, he said. He said that movie's so good. He was like, that movie's so good. He was like that. Uh, there was a montage in that movie that that rivals the one in The Godfather. That's what he said. Uh. And my dad heard him say that, our oh, dad. Oh, that's not good. And and he fucking laughed so hard, and he got so mad at him. And that's the end of the story. But um, yeah, that it was really funny. So uh, and what was I? What were we talking about though? Oh yeah, you. Why do you think they're bad? Well, they're they're not. Well, they, they're they good they because are. you like to. If you mm-hmm. like to watch something, then I think that that thing is good. Mm-hmm. I don't like the thing where people are like, it's a guilty pleasure. I know it's bad, but right, I still right. like it. I don't it. do that. I don't like that either. Because if you like a thing, then you it think does it's, nothing guilty about it. Yeah, it's just good. You and just you like it. it. Yeah, yeah, you like it. And that's and if you like stuff on the WB, and if you like that stuff, that's just the kind of guy you are. You don't get to get you don't get to skirt around not being that guy by saying yes. like it's a guilty pleasure. No, just turns out you idiot. Right. That's why I don't right. like it. Right. They're tr- it's like it's like they're getting out of. It's yeah. like look, I understand it's bad. Right. But I make an exception for this. Right. No, no, no. No, no, no. You just like that. Thing. You don't understand it. And you don't understand it because you idiot. Yeah. Oh, you're watching the arrow? Oh well. <laughs> Are you watching all of the episodes? Oh well. Do you enjoy it? And is it a guilty pleasure? No. Turns out, you idiot. <laughs> have you seen the ads and trailers? Robot, have, have you have you seen the ads and trailers for cats oh yeah dude i spent 30 minutes talking oh, about okay. this last yeah. time yeah yeah well, yeah we've... well then never mind yeah but it's we know what it is i what i don't understand is i don't understand people roasted sonic the hedgehog when that fucking trailer came out i didn't even think it was all that bad and they yeah. remade it and now it looks better okay why is not everybody roasting the cats trailer they're the, not doing that they're not i haven't seen it not like the Sonic thing. The Sonic thing was weird, and it was very weird that they recut it because of that. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. A lot of men will fall, but you won't. I got to be in one of those movies. I am actually in one of those movies coming up. So go fuck yourself. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
Crazy, right? Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yep, Army of the Dead on Netflix coming out. <laughs> so, I mean, so insecure the laugh. Yeah, it's you know? all good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm also in you coming up. So eat that. Put that in your sm- Mike and Pokins. Oh, okay. Mike and Pokins. Yeah, put that in your Mike and Pokins. Um, I keep fucking getting out of frame here. But uh, what were we talking about? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, guilty pleasure shit. Yeah. You ever seen those things like like Arrow or The Flash? Would never. Could never. I like. But the, you're 12, I, so you I, I have. watch. I do. I've seen one or two episodes of them. And. Well, they're not like the movies. And the movie ones are are good. I like. I appreciate those. Like what? I like like fucking Marvel shit and DC. Some of the DC Oops. shit. Oops. I, I do. Oops. Yeah. What? You're making a mistake by saying that. Mm, okay. Well. Um. Yeah. You do like that shit. Though. Mm-hmm. You like. Well, no. That's this is what I'm saying. You like all shit that 12 year olds like. This is the kind of mood I'm in, babies. So drunk. But I'll tell you what. The one I did see one recently, and I'm not going to mention it, but it was in because I don't want to fucking because I do like those kinds of movies. But there was one movie that came out, and it was either a Marvel or a DC movie, and it was a recent one, and it came out, and I, I watched it on the plane, and I couldn't believe how much it was for legitimately a seven year old. I want to know what it was, but I'm not. I'll tell you off. You I'll tell you off, Mike. Okay. And I don't even, you know, I just know the superhero it was about. I don't even remember the name it was about. You know the superhero, but it wasn't named after the superhero. I don't remember what the fucking movie was called. It was called That Superhero and then whatever it is after that. You oh, know how like, they come up with the names afterwards? Because they have so many of them. Yeah. Like they need a colon and then a subtitle. Right, yeah. yeah. There are so many of them. It is amazing how many of them are so much the same. They're... But but all of those movies are all the same. Like Angel yeah. Has Fallen is like this thing. It's like I'm being set up and it's like, oh shit. And they're like, oh no. And they're like, well, I got to get back to my wife. It's like all the same. Yeah, they are. Yeah. The well, only those... movies that aren't the same are movies that fucking not everybody is going to go see. Yeah. For some, every now and then there's a movie that fucking breaks it. Like, I don't know, is Lady Girl a fucking movie or something? Lady. What the fuck was that Girl. movie called? Lady Girl. Lady World. I didn't see it, but didn't fucking Greta Von Gerwood do it or something? That's Lady Bird. Yeah, that one's probably like a one that's not like on a lot of other movies. Nah, it's like a lot of other It movies. is? Okay, yeah. well, I don't know. It's just a different kind of movie that it's a lot like. Vedagon Gerwood? Vedagon Gerwood, yeah. What's her name? Greta Gerwig. Ah, okay. I made her a little bit more Dutch. Yeah. Or uh, German. You know? <laughs> I know, I said it. I don't know why it's on there. I never watch fucking porn. I have a fucking frequently visited on Pornhub, and I don't fucking watch it. I also have the help center on Twitter. I fucking never clicked on that. It's probably one fire hacking into my shit. Also, dude. swatch is porn. Yeah, I don't, though. Dude, I, I mean, I do sometimes. Sure, I, yeah. I definitely do sometimes. I'm not saying I don't fucking watch porn, but like... Right. One time I was in fucking Starbucks, and I, I I guess I was watching porn earlier, and I fucking opened up my laptop, and it just went, oh, yeah, in the middle of Starburst. Starburst. Starbucks. Dude, I, I I had it. I was watching it on my phone, uh, like earlier in the day, mm-hmm. and then I oh was car getting in your a car, car of course the, 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 with they, a girl I didn't really know. Of course, dude, and it's just ha 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 ha, and I was like, <laughs> like I didn't know what was happening, dude. You know? So not good. Get that figured the fuck out, Audi, Mercedes, BMW. Range Rover, all of your motherfucking Bluetooths, man. Yeah. Don't hook it into the Safari shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Ever, ever. By the way, yeah, no one wants you think that. I want to get in? And even no matter what the fuck I'm listening to, even if it's not porn, it's fucking embarrassing. That shit's for me. You ever have somebody talk, come up to you in the street and be like, "Hey, I saw your Instagram, dude. Sh- shut the fuck right up, dude. Mm. That's for online. Mm. Don't talk about my shit online in fucking real life. You want me to get in a car? All of a sudden, I'm fucking popping into my Kia, even." And we're going on a date with a girl. I fucking, you, you, oh, you never met her? You, you're going on a date with a girl you never met? And then fucking get in and then all of a sudden, yeah, let's go. Hop in my Kia. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Oh, yeah. Whoops. <laughs> I was watching RedTube. <laughs> RedTube, you know? I was just going to say that. Yeah. Name it something different. But yeah, so that that's that's it. I, I don't know, you know? <laughs> 150 episode though, man. It, you know, yeah. so insecure. <laughs> what else should we talk about before we go? Do you have anything you want to talk about? Um, I can't believe. I love this fucking part. dude. I'll tell you what, man. Everyone that listens to thanks so much. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So insecure again. <laughs> Everyone listens to mine though too. Thanks so much for that too. Let me ask you something. Okay. I'm gonna throw up on my mouth. Yeah, what happened? Did uh. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> did you uh where do you fall on the calamari thing that when I called my dad mm. singing <laughs> <clears throat> I'm happy you brought this up but you agree with me I agree with you thank you and that's the show about 85 to 90 percent okay I'll take there's it. a little bit that I agree with him about that okay and yeah. what do you agree with him about well I just my dad fucking ate two calamaris on one fork. One fell off in the sauce, and he fucking ate the. Uh, he ate one and dipped halfway in the sauce, and then he fucking scooped out the other one all the way in the sauce, and then ate the fucking uh, the one. And he didn't care which one he liked better. Absolutely asinine. Well, you have a problem with the fact that he even grabbed two in the first place. Well, you can grab two as long as you know what the fuck kind of sauce you're getting involved with the two. How could you know? If you because you two- control the dipping fucking capability. The guy was willy nilly fucking dangling off the thing like he was spinning plates. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and the way he just goes about right, the right. second one, I'm just like, God damn, dude, you're 72. It was amazing how quickly that to be that carefree into something that everyone was talking about. Yeah, I yeah. can't, and I can't even tell you how. I know I talk about this too much, but that's the fucking. I cannot believe how different. I'm so much like dad. But I'm so much, I would never do that, dude. And those are the hard hitting issues, to be honest. You're not that much like him. Talk about the sum of all fears. You're not that much like him. No? No, you would never do the calamari thing. No, I don't even eat calamari. But that's what I'm saying. I would never do that. Yeah. Yeah, I would, I mean, I honestly, I wouldn't do that. And he made a grave mistake, but I'm just not as like hard on him about it. Because what he says about it, you have to allow for the fact that I like them like this sometimes and I like them like that sometimes. You don't accept that. No, that's fine, dude. That's fine. Oh. That really is fine. But you prefer it one way or another. You you can't just say... Think about it. Think about what you like. Th- that's all I do all day long is think about things and think about how I like it and think about how I can fucking... Uh, think about how it can... How you can make that happen to make it the thing you like happen. Yeah, but also like if it's funny, why is it funny? And this is the rule because this has to happen because if that doesn't happen, then this happens. That's all I think about all day long. Mm-hmm. And this guy mm-hmm. is just fucking willy nilly. Mm-hmm. Just learned willy nilly. Just fucking letting calamaris fall in the sauce. I mean, it was. did he let it though? Is the thing. The, either way, dude, have it on the fork fully dude like spirit fully he didn't see it was, it fully. was hanging he, off of it I, I was like did you even know it was dangling off he was like i didn't i don't know oh well I'm that's like, not oh, are you fucking insane dude that's that doesn't help him at all uh, yeah like how no no if the fucking thing is on it or not that's yeah. it i don't we don't need to fucking dwell on it but you know it's, it's just like I ain't got no- oh. <laughs> you know what i mean it's so quick <laughs> I ain't okay. got no motherfucker. Um. So yeah, that's it. That's it. We're over an hour now. I guess we don't need to talk about this anymore. Or talk about anything. But it, what, what have we? What have we learned though? I'm fucking way cooler. I got the new tattoo. You know. We learned that Tida is the shit. We learned uh, Tida is good. Drunk. Right. Parents. Well, uh, yep. Uh huh. Should... Somebody watch that movie and, and and let me know. It shouldn't be called that. Uh, and then also, um, we're done, but, uh, I guess that's it. Uh, uh, come to, I'll do the, I'll wrap this shit up here, but, but, uh, come see me on New Year's Eve on, uh, on, uh, Chicago, go to get tickets at crystal.com or you don't love me and my family, right? Yeah. We, we can agree on that. Uh, download the cash app for free on the app store or Google play market. You could text me at, uh, 818-239-7087 and, uh, oh, uh, merch, new merch. We're restocking that. Life Rips hoodie. I know everyone's fucking been wanting that. So we're restocking that pretty soon. So be on that. Uh, Peoria, Illinois. I'm going to be there. Aurelia, Ontario, for some reason. I'll be in Irvine and Pasadena, West Palm Beach, Robinsonville, Memphis. Is that what that is? Made it up. No fucking (laughs) Robinsonville. Rohnert Park, California. I don't know. Rohnert Park, California. Robinsonville, Missouri. No, I think that's Memphis. Mississippi. I think that's Memphis. Memphis isn't a state. But it's in Memphis. Oh. Oh, so what would that be then? Mississippi. Robinsonville. I'm going to Mississippi? Missouri? But I do have a gig in Memphis. That's why I'm saying that. Robinsonville. Robin. Mississippi. I'm going to Mississippi. What the fuck is that gig? Robinsonville. Wow. When's my Memphis gig? I do have a Memphis casino coming up. 
Anyway, also listen to Confused, which is Matt D'Elia's podcast right Matt here. Matt D'Elia is confused. It's very good. Matt D'Elia is confused. So sorry. I mean, but I, I mean, Bad you, know, brother. you can just type in Confused, you'll get it. Um, and I've listened to a bunch of the episodes. They're really very good. Uh, he's much smarter than me. Uh, and I don't know how you fucking sit there and interview people without saying, what the fuck are you talking about? But you seem to be able to do it. He's got great guests on there, and it's really fucking good. So subscribe to that as well. And uh, that's it. I guess we're good. Uh, you's coming up on December 26th. Thanks very much for listening, and uh, we'll catch you later. And remember, that's just the kind of mood I'm in, my babies. Thank you. Congratulations! <laughs>